Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Helen Chapman Handmade Crafts and today I'd like to show you this graduation card that I created using the Stampin' Up! round of applause stamp set. It's got this really cute little mortarboard and lots and lots of sentiments to do with congratulations and that sort of thing. You've got you're the best, we're proud of you, you did it, happy graduation, congratulations, thank you so much, here's to a bright future, you can do anything, obviously, a well-deserved round of applause, and then these little images, the mortarboard, which is the one we're going to be using today, also this cute little flower and a bow, so it's great for graduation, but also for other types of congratulations cards and gifts this is the one we're going to create and i've used kind of a rainbow effect on here and i've got everything we need to get started firstly the card base is created from whisper white thick card stock and this measures 14.9 by 21 centimetres. I've scored it at 10 and a half along the long edge. We can fold and burnish that. Next, I've got a layer of basic black cardstock, which we can pop straight on to the card base. A little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And pop that on there. Next, we have the standard whisper white piece. Now, the measurements for these two layers are... This one is 10 by 14.4 and this one is 10.2 by 14.6. Okay, now I've got the sentiments in the five different colours and I'm using all from the Brights collection, Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point and Gorgeous Grape. And I've got little squares of cardstock in the same colours. And these are three centimetres by three centimetres. Okay, I'm going to use the Stamparatus for stamping the sentiments. I'll just grab one of the magnets or maybe both of the magnets actually and I'm going to clean the stamp in between each one because I'm using the hinge step technique but I'm going to do it in all of the different colours Firstly, the Poppy Parade. Then I'm going to move it down one step. Give it a wipe over. Next, we're going with Mango Melody. Again, quick white with the chamois. Moving down to the next step for the granny apple green.
Click what? On to Pacific Point. And finally, we're going to use Gorgeous Grape. Don't forget to move it down. <laughs> we nearly had gorgeous grape on top of Pacific Point. Okay. Just going to pop the magnets back just so that I don't forget. And move the stamparatus out of the way. Now, you might be able to see on the sample I've done some flicking of ink using the markers. Same colours. Um, if you haven't seen this before, take your brush tip end of your stamping right marker and that's the one with the wider white band you've got a smaller white band at this end for your bullet nib okay and then you're going to pop the nib inside the cap and i'll move this one out of the way otherwise that'll get some extra splatters and you're just going to flick across the page and obviously, depending on how hard you flick and how close to the paper you flick, you'll get different amounts of ink going in. And I'm just going to repeat that for all five colours. And it's a great technique when you want your card to be quite simple, but... You just feel like you've got that little bit too much white space. It's quite subtle. Finally, the gorgeous grape. Okay, then what I did was I adhered the squares of cardstock next to the corresponding stamped collar. And you can lay them out and have a little bit of a practice first if you prefer, which I did do on the original one, but um, just because I'm just going to show you this quickly, we're just going to pop these down quickly. Oh. <laughs> interesting <laughs> they obviously were not three by three on the original one were they okay we'll persevere and then what i'll do is i'll measure the original ones for you and We'll have to have a slightly different variation. 
Right, so pretend that's got all of the different colours on. We're then going to pop that on. And it's quite a thin black border, but it just helps those colours to uh, stand out. And then the next thing we need to do is to stamp the mortarboards. So I'll grab a few scraps of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp those in Memento. And we want five of these. There's the first three. Another little scrap here. Right, let me just measure these. So on the original, they were three by two and a half. And then we'll just quickly fussy cut the mortarboards and it's quite a simple shape mainly straight lines a few little curves but nothing too complicated for fussy cutting One. I'll just do these as quickly as I can. Obviously, you would take a bit more time on yours, and you would probably cut the squares out probably in the first place <laughs> well squares was my problem wasn't it they're rectangles you live and learn don't you i obviously originally had in my head to do three by three squares then realised that that didn't actually fit <laughs> the card front. <laughs> Had a change of plan and forgot to tell my brain about it. Four, last one.
Okay. And I've adhered these with the mini stamping dimensionals. And I've put one on each of the first four cardstock pieces. So one on the Poppy Parade, one on the Mango Melody, one on the Granny Apple Green, one on the Pacific Point, and then the final one, I wanted to kind of get that idea of when um, at the graduations, when they throw up the mortarboard into the air, so I, I wanted to have the final one just kind of sitting above one of the sentiments now obviously they look very slightly different <laughs> apologies for that but I, I think they're both equally lovely so that was the round of applause stamp set really great for all different types of congratulations cards really nice font and some lovely little images there is a blog post to go along with this card and i'll pop the link to that in the description below this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and you'll get notifications when i upload more ideas and inspiration for you um you can visit my website which is papercraftlife.com you can shop with me uh, if you live in the uk and some european countries and you can do that by going to bit.ly forward slash shop with helen and the shop with helen bit is all in one word but it's capital s capital w capital H it is case sensitive um yeah so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon bye for now